Paul, you're having a problem you never had before. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I just finished the first draft of my new Cyric story and I haven't picked a name for it yet. Actually, you had that problem once before. Do you remember which book it was? I did. It was Mercerian Tales, The Spark of Change. So how did you come up with a name for that book? We had suggestions from people from our newsletter. And we have some for this book, but I haven't really taken the time yet to go through them and pick out the one that's most appropriate. Why do you think you're having such a problem with that title? I think because the way we've named the other Cyric stories, I kind of wanted it to be similar in style. <laughs> so if you look at them though, they're a bit different. You have Into the Maelstrom. Yes. And then you have A Midwinter Murder. Murder, yep. And then you have the Beast of Brunhausen. And a death in Zyderbrook. No, a plague in Zyderbrook. A plague in Zyderbrook, sorry, yes, you're right. <laughs> so there really I is... mean, there was a death there, too. <laughs> <laughs> there really isn't a theme for these books, but in your head you think you have a theme. Well, it's not so much a theme, but there's two key words, right? Midwinter, murder, plague, Zyderbrook. Okay. That kind of thing. Uh, and so in the original story, the person that dies was a count. So I was thinking like the Count of Death or something, but I ended up changing it to a Baron because I had a character already established that would fit nicely into the storyline. But then, of course, a Baron of Death doesn't quite work. So. so why do you never talk about your Cyric stories? Cyric is a secondary character. He's actually got his fingers into every series. Yes. <laughs> so he plays an important role in the entire world, actually. But he's a humble Temple Knight, and he assists where he can. And the, his stories are smaller in length. They're novellas. called the novellas. Uh, hopefully one day we'll put them all together into a book. But he's more of a medieval mystery person rather than an adventurer or a hero in the classical sense. Would you say that the genre of your books is a fantasy murder mystery whodunit? Yes, although at least in one book it's not a whodunit, it's a why done it. <laughs> and is this book a whodunit? Oh, this is definitely a whodunit and what the heck is going on in the... In the... <laughs> and when you were writing this one, because I sit beside you, you actually changed it quite a bit from your outline to your final draft. I did. I, the original outline was a pretty basic murder mystery. You've got essentially an isolated location with five guests that show up. They're invited there by the Baron. The Baron's going to make a big reveal. The Baron dies before he can make the reveal. It's pretty clear right off the bat that the servants are not responsible, so Cyric has to intervene, the church is asked to investigate, and uh, he has to determine which of the five guests is responsible. How did it change? Because that sounds very similar to your I don't want to. I don't want to give away the background, but Aww. it refers to things in the past that are quite complex and have far-reaching consequences. But it didn't originally, did it? It did not. So this gave it an extra depth. You know, when I did a Midwinter Murder, there was a, something in the past that played into the murder. And this is very, very different than that. Yes, it's still past events, but it's way more convoluted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. And pretty much every guest has a secret. And Sarah oh. has to unravel them all to find out what they are. So if people wanted this book, there's two ways they can get it. Well, if you happen to be subscribed to our newsletter, you would probably get it for free at Christmas time. Shh, don't tell everybody. Oh, yeah, They'll sorry. all be joining your newsletter. <laughs> well, or what, what's the other way? We'll make it available for that one. But it, it's only the buy first draft. It in the new year. Yeah, yeah. We, it has to go through editing and that yes. kind of thing. It'll be ready for Christmas. And it'll be challenging edit because... Oh, thanks. I look so forward to that. Well, only challenging in the sense that, I mean, obviously grammar and things can be fixed, but there's a lot of clues that have to remain in place for the whole thing to work. Oh. And <laughs> when fun you're doing times, the editing, fun. you'll have to stop before the big reveal and tell me who you think did it. All right. <laughs>